We are at a new campground and the weather is beautiful so it is time to set up my favorite RV accessory. In my opinion, one of the best features of toy haulers are their patios. They give you a whole additional area to hang out in, especially if you are lucky enough to have a more ride inflatable patio. The one that we have has been discontinued, but I've heard rumors that there's another company coming out with something very similar. And I'm definitely looking forward to that because if this one ever breaks, I will be very sad. The first thing Riker and I did was lower the patio door and set up the gates, which you saw my four-year-old did, so it's pretty easy to do. Then my husband puts the tarp down and makes sure it's flat and spread out evenly. Honestly, I'm not sure what this part is for considering that the bottom of the inflatable patio has the same exact thing. I guess it's just extra protection. I really don't know. It seems unnecessary to me, but it came with it, so we use it. Then he rolls out the inflatable patio and he kind of arranges it so the opening is by the garage door just to ensure that it's set up so when it inflates, it's in the proper position. Inflating it is very simple. We bought a $20 balloon pump on Amazon and it inflates it in literally a minute. You could definitely do this by yourself, but we found that it's easier if one person holds the pump and one person holds the tent up as it's being inflated. And here it is being inflated. Obviously this video is sped up, but it pops up in just a few seconds. The last thing we do is make sure that the magnets on the tent are attached to the frame of the garage and this just makes sure that rain doesn't get in. I just unzipped the privacy panel so now you can see in and now I'm unzipping the plastic panels. If we leave the plastic panels closed, we can actually leave the patio doors open and the AC from the garage will cool the patio. But typically we unzip everything so it's just mesh and open to the wind unless of course it starts raining and then we close it up so we can still hang out inside. I'm sure you want to see what it looks like from the inside, so here it is. We usually set up a foldable table and chairs out here so we can play games or just have meals since we removed our dinette.